All right, in this video, we're going to look at an example related to the derivative of an inverse function. Um, so here we've got the, uh, you know, the formula associated with finding the derivative of an inverse. So in this one, we have uh, the function x to the third plus e to the x. And we're given that f inverse of 1 equals 0. We want to find the derivative of the inverse function at x equals 1. You know, one thing we can make sure of is that this function does have an inverse. So notice that the derivative, um, f prime of x, that would equal 3x squared plus e to the x. But um, notice that this is always going to be uh, greater than 0 for all x. And the reason is e to the x is greater than 0 for all x. If you plug any number uh, into the e function, uh, the exponential function, e to the x, you always get something greater than 0. You know, 3x squared is certainly greater than or equal to 0. And when you add them together, well, since this one's already positive, if you add something 0 or bigger, we'll always get something greater than 0. And that tells us, since our derivative is always positive, it tells us our function uh, is strictly increasing, which means it passes the horizontal line test. And that tells us that the function uh, f does have an inverse. Okay, so this question is, you know, phrased uh, properly. It does, in fact, uh, we can ask about the derivative of the inverse. So now using our formula here, it just says, well, if we want to figure out the derivative with respect to x of the uh, inverse function evaluated um, at x equals 1, we'll just use our formula here. Okay, so again, we know that f inverse of 1, that's given to us as 0. So really all we're doing is we're just figuring out 1 over f prime of 0. Well, all we have to do now is just take the derivative of the actual function, which we've already done here. And then all we have to do is simply plug 0 into that. So notice f prime of 0 is just going to give us 3 times 0 squared plus e to the 0, which is going to give us 1. So that says uh, when we plug it into uh, this part, we'll just be left with 1 over 1, or we'll get 1 as the value of the derivative um, at that point.